Well, hi, welcome to the latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to show you a product that I recently purchased in order to help me upgrade my electrical connections in my studio, my lab, my editing area, and my network rack, plus other areas that are being upgraded electrically. It is from Fosempta, and it is a digital circuit breaker locator. Now, what does that mean? If we open this up, it comes in a nice little packet. Got a little carry strap to it too. And if we open this up, we have multiple little things in here I want to show you. First of all, there is the transmitter. The transmitter, well, this right now has a little protector on it to protect the pins of the where it's going to plug into the outlets. And it is what you plug into the outlet that you wish to actually test to find out which breakers it is. So if we turn it on, in addition to that, it gives you a bunch of basic information about that outlet. So it tells you what the voltage is that's coming out of it in AC, up to, up to about 140 volts AC, no, nothing higher than that. And it also tells you if it's wired properly. Right now it's not plugged into anything, so it's saying that it's open. The actual hot is open. It doesn't see a hot coming into this device, okay? As an example, but it'll tell you more errors than that. It also can check GCFI outlets, it can actually trip them from here with a test button and a few other things that it can check for in general. Now, when this sends out a signal, they get received by this receiver. Now, this receiver is meant to ident identify exactly which breaker in the breaker panel that device is actually connected to. So I plan on mapping out every outlet in my home office. There are just too many of them that confuse from one point to the other because we have it split between different levels. And I want to make sure that I put a label on every outlet in order to identify which breaker it is. And in the breaker box, I will put the labels for approximately what that particular breaker controls. But obviously, there'll be multiple outlets in many cases. If you turn this on, you also have a little LCD display. And right now, it's beeping because it's in learn mode. So you have to take this over to your breaker box and scan it up and down across all breakers so that it can learn what the highest signal is coming in from all of the breakers that is being generated by this transmitter. Once it's learned them all, then you click this button again and it goes into scan mode. So it actually says scan on there. Well, in scan mode, now you slowly go down the breaker panel right towards the center of the breaker. When you finish one leaf, you go up the next. Eventually, you'll hit the one that this one is transmitting on. And therefore, you have it. You now know what breaker that particular outlet happens to be able to control. Now, in addition to that, this thing also comes with a few other accessories. For example, if you want to check, let's say, uh, uh, an outlet that's one of the older types or maybe recessed lighting that might exist in your area, well, what they do is they give you this little adapter here. Let me open it up. That plugs into the transmitter. And then you can screw that into the recessed lighting outlet or anything that would normally have a light bulb in it. And then it works just the same. It will send a signal down that line, which will be picked up by the transmitter. Okay. In addition to that, some outlets, the older type in general, they don't have three prongs, so they give you a little adapter for that. Common, you know, you buy this at any hardware or home improvement store. And when you plug it into this adapter, now it becomes two prong. And the third prong for the ground is sitting here uh, that hopefully you could connect up to a nearby pipe or something like that in order to complete the, the right circuitry connection for a three prong outlet. Not, not that it would hurt it because even though you've got an error that says it's missing the ground connector, it still will be able to trace it because it still has the neutral and the hot that it's sending the signal through to the breaker box. Okay, so it will still work. In addition to that, now this gets a little more dicey. They give you this thing, which has a couple of alligator clips and again, a three prong receptacle that you can plug this into. And if you're in a case where you're, you know, you haven't put the outlet in yet or you have dangling wires from it, well, you can use this to connect up to the hot and to the neutral and whether they reverse or not wouldn't matter they still it still will work fine and then when you turn this on it will send a signal through those wires to the breaker box so it'll accomplish the same thing so this is all in one kit 
They even give you the batteries. This thing uses two AAA. This thing uses two AA. And it has a little screwdriver for opening up the little screws to get and change the actual batteries. So it's pretty complete. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring you to an outlet that I want to test. We're going to put the transmitter in it and we'll then go to the breaker box and see what it does. Okay? Okay, here's an outlet in one of my bathrooms. Let's plug this thing in here. It happens to be GCFI. We'll turn it on. And there we go. And it says we got 121 volts AC. And it has the word correct, which means all the wiring is correct there. Green light on the front means fully compliant. Okay, let's go downstairs now. Okay, so now let's see if I turn this thing on. It's in learn mode. We'll go down the panels in the middle. Don't trip any by accident. Switch it to scan mode. We'll see what we got. Right here, seems like it's this one right here. Not that one, but this one. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm gonna turn this one off. And we'll go back upstairs and take a look if I got it right. And there we go. And now it says open hot, as if it's not even plugged in. Same thing. No power in there. Okay, so it works. Now one thing this closet has is one of these uh, light bulb mounts. Now I took the light bulb out already, so it's not gonna go on, but I'll turn the switch on. And then we'll put in the transmitter with the adapter, okay? Okay, I have it installed with the adapter, and right now it says open hot because the switch is off. So if I turn the switch on, now it says 122 volts, but it says open ground, okay? Now I'm, I'm not gonna bother going through the breaker thing because I happen to know where this one is, but um, this is how you could now identify what breaker controls this one, okay? Anyway, that does it for this video, and I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, put them down in the notes below. Thanks.